welcome to my studio. So let's have a quick tour of my crib. This is my space. It's new. It recently just got filled up. This is something that we made today with tin. It used to be um, actually it was a lot of different things before. Naging stah, dami na yung history. Now it's my chance to turn this thing into my own studio slash workshop slash little shop, physical brick and mortar slash events. <laughs> Very ambitious. Here we have a little gallery area. And let me show you some of my works. This is my favorite work so far. Did this with the intention that I'm doing it for me. And when I'm not doing it for anybody else, I don't need to make it beautiful or flowery or anything. I just let it out. So this is my current state of mind. The purest and the rawest form. Yeah, this is some of my works. Most of them are, you know, in a space of improvement, work in progress. So this is actually something we started today also. I just wanted to show how I did some of my mixed media acrylic and oil pastels. Abstract painting for me is tapping into your non-thinking brain. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, you know, it's not to say that you don't have any thoughts because we always have thoughts. But when you are at a point where you are focused on your body and you let your body move with the material that you're using. And when a thought comes into your head, it just comes out again. Whatever comes out, that for me is abstract art. There's, there's nothing like it has to be like square or shapes or colors. No, I mean, if you're in a flow state, you want to bring out what you feel inside. Yeah, that for me is abstract art. I think sa kahit hindi naman abstract painting, just painting or doing anything in general, pag yung may tao na, ang kaya ko yan. <laughs> I've received a bunch of comments like that earlier in my work, I still wasn't so confident in the work that I was putting out. So I was still copying inspiration from other artists or other, you know, something that you can easily recognize. Ah, parang si ganito or parang si ganyan or comparing my work with other people. And that was really hard at the, at the start. You, <laughs> you want to be unique, you want to be original. and. When people say that they can do what you do, it's also, also almost saying you don't matter. In a bazaar one time, there was this guy who was with his girlfriend. I was painting. Oh, yeah. Ah, nag paint ka ba? Paint mo ay mukha ng girlfriend ko. I'm like, di ka marunong ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> but people, you know, people have their limitations also with understanding and what you do. So, okay lang. You just build the thicker skin. The industry really is like that. Over time, the more the you know, the benefit of just keep work, keeping on working on your craft is that you get better at becoming who you are, and that makes your artwork stronger because nobody can be who you are. So now, even if people say, "Oh, your work looks like anito," I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not dead yet, right? So I still have a chance to grow, make progress with my art, use different materials, be like multidisciplinary and things. So there's no limit to what you can do. Just over time, you be confident with yourself. Uh, my favorite materials are here, my acrylic paints. More recently, using mm, a lot of these my collection of oil pastels and a lot of spontaneous materials like the tube of the paint and more unconventional palette <laughs> like the bottom of a basket anything that helps you flow consistently something that for me uh, something that i don't need to think about like what brush am I going to use like am I going to use this 
I'm in the heat of painting and then I have to look for this particular brush. Oh, no, no, no. That won't work for me because my mind would already be thinking about the material, not the work. Any material that keeps you in your flow state, that is abstract. I cry a lot. <laughs> it's healthy to cry because it's overwhelming. You know, life is so hard. You need to make space for the new emotions, the new feelings, the new inspirations that you want to come to you. That's the great thing about when your art reflects your life. For example, with me, when I'm feeling stuck making, I don't know what to make, it means that I'm also stuck in my personal life. So it gives me time to reflect, what do I need to work on so I can make better artworks? Maybe it's my relationships, maybe it's my family. Maybe it's my self-care. It really just makes you think about yourself. So I clean, I dance, whatever you need to do, no judgment. There's no right way to heal. My favorite part of the process, when I realize that I'm in the flow, because I can't be in the flow intentionally. You know, it doesn't happen a force na parang be in the flow. <laughs> so for example, this piece used to be completely different. It used to be something else. I already finished it one time before, but it was only me letting out stuff. It wasn't really creating anything yet. When I realized that I'm not in the flow when I made this, I covered it, I did it again, I did it, I did it over. And when I was painting a while ago, I felt happy that I was in my flow space. It's hard to, to, to describe how when you realize it, eh? but you'll know when you're in the moment, you're in the zone, everything's just working out. And you don't have to think about it. Everything fits. And then eventually, when you look at what you did, this is matching with how I feel inside. Even better pa nga sometimes. So this one was a series that was part of my first ever solo exhibit at the Hub Make Lab. These works tell the complete story of my creative process. So this is the second part of my creative process wherein I want to make beautiful work for people to buy them. But at the same time, I'm frustrated with myself that I want to do that. <laughs> so I try to make beautiful work, but intentionally mess it up, you know, make it more texturized or using more vibrant colors. But then I stop myself and I feel like maybe people won't want to buy this, so I need to clean it up. So that's why in the work, you can see that at the background, there's a lot of colors. And then again, I washed it out. And when I reflect on that, it makes me remember how small I think of myself sometimes. They want to apologize for being big or being crazy with my work. So that's the energy that I wanted to show in these pieces. I did this all at the same time, very spontaneous. And I wanted to take up space. That's why I worked on big, big paper. I still wanted it to be presentable. That's why I had it framed. Essentially, these pieces tell a story of me trying to fit in to a certain standard of making fine art. The most authentic output that I can make, which I also included so exhibit, were this, this series. You can see the big, big contrast between these two artworks. That this one is just on paper, very raw, exposed. I'm not really comparing my, myself with myself. Just acknowledging that I go through a lot of different phases when I work. And all of those contribute to my growth as an artist. So I like the whole process, no matter how exhausting it may be sometimes or critical I become of myself. I still love it and I always love it. One of the many lessons that I learned in my journey doing abstract or just painting in general is there are many other eyes that can see my work. It's still very current, it, you know, current as yesterday. I still feel that when I see my work and I think it's not good, feeling ko hindi na siya talaga good. <laughs> but I have to really remember other people have their own way of appreciating my work. I don't have to edit myself so much and edit my work to a point where I'm satisfied with it because 
that's really exhausting. Sometimes when you when when I'm working and I reach a point that I like this, but I don't know how to proceed anymore. Maybe that's the time to stop because other people I need to give other people a chance to appreciate it just as it is. My view of my work isn't the final say. It's nice to listen to other people when they talk about what they like about the work. It helps me appreciate it more. So, I am super happy and it's kind of crazy for you guys to be one of the first visitors of my studio. <laughs> it's not really open for public yet, but the best takeaway from this whole experience is don't force it. You know, I was ready to open this space up and this place up in my art if I just learned to not control. More beautiful things will happen, just like this interview. And I hope you can collaborate with me in doing your art or whatever way or however way you're always invited here and don't forget to subscribe and like Common Room's YouTube channel to see more amazing Meet the Maker interviews like this one. Thank you!